Welcome, Welcome back, back dragons. dragons. I'm Elisa. And I'm Judith. And you're watching and you're watching Dragon News. Flowers are blooming, the temperature is starting to rise, and you know what that means, Judith. That's almost time to turn down the AC. No, silly. April is here, and that means testing season is about to begin. Oh, right. We can't forget about ACT, AZ Merit, and AP exams are in May for some students. I understand that right now, some of you may not be feeling the best with the testing season coming up, but here at Dragon News, we prepared a short list of testing tips so you can feel confident and prepared. Tip number one, always read the question carefully. Sometimes a question can give you a big hint on what the answer is, so make sure you read the question carefully. It's also okay to refer back to the text quickly in case you need a refresher. Speaking of answers, in order to make the best guess, cross out answer choices that you know that can't be true. It's also important, especially on the ACT, that you bubble in an answer no matter what. If the question is too hard, make a guess and come back later if you have time. I know we're talking about things to do on test day, but there's one important thing that we haven't mentioned, sleep. It's very important that you get around eight hours of sleep the night before the exam so you are at your best. Remember, Dragons, you got this. Good luck to everyone on their exams. Besides exams, it's also that time of year where Stugo is looking for future members. If you are interested in becoming a part of Stugo, then please join the meeting on April 12th at 2.30 p.m. on Teams. It is a mandatory meeting, so if you plan on applying to Stuco at all and can attend, please message Ms. Heisel on Teams or email her at bfsheisel at gmail.com. Before we can continue, Dr. Batzel has some announcements. Take it away, Dr. Batzel. Good morning, Dragon Fam, and welcome to March. Top of the morning to ya. I hope that you had a wonderful spring break and that you are relaxed and ready for quarter four. We are definitely on the final push. So congratulate yourself, pat yourself on the back for getting through quarters one through three in a whole new world. This quarter, I'm super excited that you are going to, well, many of you are gonna be coming back and joining us for some in-person time at Bioscience High School. Uh, that's not to say that we don't want to also include, if you're staying at home and you're doing virtual, I hope you know you're still loved and wanted, um, and we want to keep you engaged as well if you're learning from home. So speaking of coming back in March, our, um, we're actually going to be phasing you in. So depending on when the Batsles Bits comes out or when our um, Dragon News comes out, this may already be in the past, but we are looking at March 22nd for phased in, um, starting with seniors on March 22nd, and then going to juniors on March 23rd, sophomores on March 24th, etc. So just um, listen and, and um, have your parents check their email for specifics so that you know exactly when your group is. And then when you're here on campus, um, remember just, you know, you guys are scientists, you know, we, we follow the science here. So make sure you're, you're using your masks, your social distancing and following the arrows for the directions um, and sitting only where you're supposed to sit for like, you know, meals and things like that. So help us out and um, help us to keep you safe. Also, I wanted to let you know that juniors, you have a big day coming up. April 6th. That is our ACT day and it is in person. So even if you are at home virtual, you need to come in in person for April 6th ACT. There is no at home ACT. So you'll, you will need to come in that day to take the ACT. That will be an asynchronous day for everyone except the junior class. So 9th grade, 10th grade, 12th grade, you guys are going to stay home on April 6th and have an asynchronous day. And juniors, you're going to be coming to campus um, starting at, you know, 8. We're going to be starting the bubbling session at 8 a.m. So you're going to need to be here April 6th, bright and early. We'll bring you, we'll have food and snacks for you. So make sure that you are here. If you could even get here like between 7.30 and 8, that would be even better so that you could get some breakfast and get settled and find your testing room and all of that. 
Then just keep in mind, we do have some more tests coming up in April. They are in-person uh, as well, in-person online um, computer tests, though, instead of paper and pencil. And that's the AZ Merit 2, and that is only for 10th graders. So only 10th graders take the AZ Merit 2, that's in April. And then the Arizona science test, the new science test is only juniors. If you are virtual uh, for these tests, we're gonna make it so that you can come in and do the test or you can stay home um, if you chose to be virtual and it will not count against you for the AZ Merit and the Arizona science uh, to stay home and be virtual. However, if you would like to have your scores and your feedback for how well you're doing in those areas, you'll need to come in and take that test in person. We'll give you more dates when we get closer. Anyhow, I hope you have a very lucky month. I hope that things are very good for you and um, that March and fourth quarter is an excellent quarter for you. Till next time, dragons. Have a great day. Thank you, Dr. Batzel. Now another important announcement we have today is from AV8. There are a small group of juniors and seniors that are working to create a fully automated Connect Four. The goal of the project is to provide a new experience for students at Excel who serve special needs students in other similar communities. We also have a video from the group Aviate that helps explain more about what the project is about. Do you remember your favorite childhood games like Jenga Connect Four? Now imagine that for your entire life, you could only watch others play those games. How would you feel in those situations? Unable to interact with these games and unable to have a friendly competition with your mom, dad, or even a friend. At Excel, they teach bright children and young adults with special needs to help improve their motor skills and quality of life using switch adapted toys. This is a pretty daunting task to ask for most of these students. Having created switch adapted toys for them, we saw them enjoy themselves, laughing and smiling. We realized in that moment, we wanted to create something for them that was unique. Not trying to waste this opportunity, we partnered with EXO to create a fully automated Connect 4 with plans to create more switch adapted games in the future. Already, we have spent countless hours over the course of 8 months talking with mentors and we have fully fleshed out our ideas. How can you help? Well, we are close to completing our design and have started our journey to get this robot up. With your help, we can raise the necessary funds to provide these students with an entirely new form of entertainment. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video and please consider donating. That's all we have for today. Till next time, dragons.